Bonjour. Welcome to episode four of the Breeders' Cup Challenge Rundown Show. Keeneland is getting closer and closer, but we've got an action-packed show for you this month, so let's get straight to it. Today I'm here at Chanty in France, an incredible setting for our monthly catch-up. The autumn is well and truly here, which can only mean one thing, that the Breeders' Cup Championship is just around the corner in only one month's time. Now the races have been coming thick and fast in Europe and America, but seeing as we're here in France, where better to start than the weekend's action at Paris Longchamp. Tigre slipped, coming out of the gates there and almost got rid. And now Belbeck in the light blue has just got to lead and goes ahead of GameStop. Bray Sky coming with those, it's just Belbeck. <laughs> 200 metres, never ending story is in pursuit, but that's all they're going to do to this blue race. Then they could pursue all they like, but they're not catching her. Down the outside, Place du Carousel, look at this finish! Place du Carousel has got up late on the beat, uh, Nashua is just second. It's the Platinum Queen and the light blue has the advantage, White Lavender and Coda Pierre in second and third place. He's the Platinum Queen, I think she's just going to the Fantastico! Because it's your own, you have a thousand doubts, but if I was just watching it, she was always going best. All eyes were, of course, on the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe, but it was the story of a UK-based syndicate, Midland Park, that really took the headlines on Sunday in Paris. The Platinum Queen was the first two-year-old to take the Abbey since 1978, and boy, did it send the owners into overdrive. It's the Platinum Queen and the light blue has the advantage. White Lavender and Coda Pierre in second and third place. It's the Platinum Queen, I think she's just done it. And it is the two-year-old filly, the first one since 1978 to do it. Holly Doyle on 19, the Platinum Queen. Oh, thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. We, we've invested in lots of horses with Midland Park Racing. They're a fantastic group, fantastic company. And you take the rough with the smooth, you know. You have a fantastic horse. We've had horses not so good, horses very good. And this is just, this is payback. It is amazing. This became more important because we were favourite for the Breeders' Cup. There's a lot of very good horses, so we'll, we'll just wait and see. Tom, Tom Palin will decide and Richard Fahey will decide. We're just like, we're the mad people. My dad's got Milton Yorn's disease, okay? Oh, so, so, I bought this horse for him. He's in bed now, in hot one left to live, and he's just won his first group one. Shall we ring him? Are we ready? Hiya. Hello, this is a national TV programme. What, what do you think of the race? I'm, I'm still crying. Oh, I know, I know. 
We've done it, Dad. We've done it, Dad. We've won a group one. We've won a group one. <laughs> I'm so proud, Dad. Congratulations. I'd love to be able to take him on first class because we won a few quid, right? So I can afford to pay for first class. I'd love to take him first class to Keeneland. Nice big bed. Get him out there. Let's do it. So obviously there's there's levels here. Some of us go, yeah, we're just working class. No, 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 no. We've moved from work class into upper class. We've gone from grade one to grade zero. And we're at the top. We're at the top. We've won the Breeders' Cup to clean out the Americans. We've done the Brits. We've done the French. Now we're going to do the Americans. We're coming for you. Well, the ARC weekend never disappoints, and a man who picked up a Breeders' Cup ticket was trainer Christopher Head with his win in the Marcel Boussac. But the question is, can he follow in the footsteps of his father, Freddie, by tasting World Championship success? And what a brilliant filly is this that Goldacova is just scintillating. Goldacova is something special. Goldacova, a true champion. Three Breeders' Cup wins. He went twice in Santa Anita and then uh, at uh, Churchill Downs once. But uh, of course, in America, all the mile, it's a bit the same because the race courses are about the same. But still, it's a different race, which makes it a bit more uh, difficult to handle. Now, I think it was the first one. I think she was at her best then. It was a great race with uh, Pelli, I remember, riding a fantastic race. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Goldacova waiting patiently for room, nowhere to go. Here's Precious Kitten, the other filly running a big one, and Kip DeMille, the bray. Kip DeMille has let loose, but Goldacova goes through at the rail. And look at the acceleration from Goldacova as she bursts forward. And what a brilliant filly is this, Goldacova, and an awesome effort. I know there was a bit of pressure the second year, and the third year too, of course, because going for a third time. Goldacova in the white cap, hooked to the extreme outside, Courageous Cat gets the lead, but Goldacova is coming home like an express train down the centre, Courageous Cat running a huge one, Goldacova's going to have to switch out a little, she does so though, coming with a late run, just enough humour, but Goldacova is just scintillating, Goldacova is something special, Goldacova and Olivia Paleo win it again. Uh, winning at Churchill was really special because it's the, the birthplace of races, it's the big breeding place, Kentucky and Old Louisville. Now Golda Culver's unwinding her run in the centre of the track. Golda Culver's left loose, she's flying. Sydney's Candy, the usual QT's in there as well. But Golda Culver's catching with each and every stride. Are we to see history this afternoon? Here's Paco Boy late, but no, Golda Culver, a true champion. Three Breeders' Cup wins. And she, she was placed the fourth time. This year we are with Golda Kova. If she can pull it off, four straight Breeders' Cup wins, that would be fantastic. She had four uh, runs in, in the Breeders' Cup. She was third the fourth time. It's Golda Kova in the race of her life. Tura Rua, court vision, court vision, going to outrun of Tura Rua on the outside. Golda Kova, what a magnificent run. She almost got there. Well, what an exhilarating time we have had here in France. But it's not just here that we have seen European festivals. At the beginning of the month in Ireland, we had the Irish Champions Weekend. So let's head over there and recap. In the centre is Alda with Caroline Street, but it's Augusta Rodin making the step up. Lovely, good move and horse that would like nice ground and would love uh, flat track as well. like Keeneland, she'd like those tight turns, so you know, we'll see what the future brings. Looking forward to Kentucky, you know, Lexington calls, doesn't it? But it's high paid princess in the lead, shoots away! Such a good girl! I think she'd stand up against almost any mare in the world now.
also had plenty of racing stateside this past month. So let's check out the action. And they're coming down to the wire. Our team of city limits, Brand these two, and Brand does it. Brand heads to the Breeders' Cup. Highest honors. They're coming down to the wire. It's a driving photo finish, and it will be, I believe, Red Knight. And this three-year-old is a star in the Rico Wood by Mile, Modern Games. And this time you can cash your ticket. Modern Games by five lengths. Country Grammar grinding away on the outside. Defunded two length lead close to home, and it will be defunded under Edwin Maldonado. In the Longines turf, we have Luxembourg, Red Knight, and Alpinista. In the Breeders' Cup Classic, we have Defunded. In the Maker's Mark Philly and Mare's turf, we have Pearls Galore and Place du Carousel. In the turf sprint, we have Bran, Highfield Princess, and Platinum Queen. In the Fan Duel Mile, we have Godolphin's Modern Games after victory in Canada. And in the Big Ass Fans Dirt Mile, we have Senor Buscador. Excitement is really building. Keeneland is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us this month. And if you want any more information, just head to our website, which is breederscup.com forward slash challenge. We will also be bringing you a special update in the middle of this month to catch you up on all the challenge series races at Keeneland and Ascot. All roads lead to the Bluegrass State. Time to set your watches.